Hello, my name is John Lee. I'm a professor of neurosurgery at the University of Pennsylvania. I've been working in this field of fluorescent guided surgery for five or six years now, and um, I have extensive experience with the use of ICG. In this review, we discuss the myriad of uses of ICG from a photodiagnostic agent to its potential as a phototherapeutic agent. Second window ICG is a high dose delayed administration of ICG. We know um, we can visualize a disrupted blood-brain barrier by administering gadolinium. So for example, here is a simple meningioma, which without the gadolinium contrast agent is difficult to see. However, when you administer intravenously this uh, uh, IV gadolinium, it leaks into the tumor because the vascular um, permeability is disrupted in these tumors. The blood vessels are not, the angiogenesis is not normal. So again, this is just a cartoon depiction of uh, the disrupted blood-brain barrier. And um, we are taking advantage of what we call the enhanced permeability and retention. So not only is the dye going into the tumor, but it actually stays there for a long time. ICG is um, normally is considered to have a half-life of 90 seconds, how, and we just give small little aliquots during the um, visualization for angiography. However, for this technique, we're giving a much higher dose, and we delay at 24 hours. We call this this t technique has been trademarked tumor glow, and. Um, We've been doing this now for five years. Here's just an example case. This is just a simple meningioma, but it really showcases the value of the technique. So here is um, a meningioma at the surface. It's like a parasagittal meningioma with the sagittal sinus in the middle. This is not a vascular imaging technique. Now I'm gonna switch just to the near infrared channel and you can see here um, the beautiful, um, uh, a beautiful view of the near infrared. Now what I, the camera is doing is we're superimposing it on the color. So now we have the white light uh, color view as well as the near infrared superimposed. And you can see how beautifully confined it is to the tumor. No ICG is in the brain whatsoever and it's not in the vasculature at all. One of the great aspects of ICG is that we're still discovering things about endocyanine green. For example, in our review, we talk about uh, its, its emission in the NIR2 window at very long wavelengths at 1300 to 1500 nanometers, only recently discovered because of the more uh, wide use of in the uh, gallium sensors. ICG is essentially the backbone for every new cancer fluorophore that is being created. Indocyanine green is an old drug, but it has so many uses, and it, indeed it does serve as this bridge to the future. I think that um, neurosurgeons need to get comfortable uh, with looking at a screen, with looking at the near-infrared uh, superimposed onto the white light view. I believe that early adopters really have an advantage when it comes to visualization of fluorophores specifically targeting cancer.